All right, so Thermo Fisher Scientific has just released a new blood test for lupus that will help us diagnose lupus, hopefully a little bit faster, but let's talk about what the test actually looks for and what it's doing and what percentage of people can it actually help. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Marie. I live with lupus as well as a few other autoimmune and chronic illnesses, and I optimize my life and talk about it here on this channel. All right, so let's get into the new blood test. It was just approved by the FDA. It's by Thermo Fisher Scientific. The test is looking for some very specific ribosomal P antibodies that someone with lupus would have. This is the first blood test of its kind. And what it's going to do is help us if you suspect you have lupus and your doctor has tested for it. We've talked about it on another video on how to diagnose lupus. One of the criteria is that you have an ANA, which is they find this number with a blood test and you have to be ANA positive. However, they have found out that 97% of lupus patients will be ANA positive, but the other 3% will be ANA negative, but still have lupus. And this test is aiming to help the 3%. So if you have all of the symptoms, but you were ANA negative, you need to go back and ask for this new test by Thermo Fisher Scientific. The actual test is ELIA rib P. So this blood test will catch the 3% that was being ignored with the first ANA test. So you can show up ANA negative, but then ask for this new test that's just been approved. This new test will help us with the 3% that's being left behind. Because if you have lupus, the sooner you're actually diagnosed, the sooner you, you can begin treatments. If you missed my other video about how to get diagnosed with lupus, I'll link it here so that you can check it out. But remember, if your ANA is negative, you want to push for this test that just got released because this might help you get diagnosed even with a negative ANA. As always, keep pushing for the testing that you need, become your best advocate. And it doesn't matter if you have all of the symptoms and you're ANA negative, you still need to push for this next test. It's something that will help the 3% that are getting left behind. I'll see you guys in the next video.